Hey y'all, so we're gonna go ahead and go over just a little bit of the differences between two different lines of Mueller uh, Bieber axis. <clears throat> These are in their blue line. Uh, they are forged the same way. They're just ground and, and painted. Uh, so if you're interested in their classic line, which is basically the, the uh, hand forged finish, you'll see the hammer marks and everything. Uh, check those out as well. Most of what I'm gonna say applies to those. The only difference is the ash handle versus the hickory handle. And of course the, um, the forged finish on them and then the hand forged finish on them. And then they also come uh, with the hickory handle. Okay, <clears throat> now, so this is a broad bit style. And you can see that's more of what I would call like the uh, Rhineland style or the German style there. Um, and it's the broader bit right here, fairly sharp V shape. The Canada style uh, is this one right here. And you can see it's, uh, the, the, the difference here is, is that the Canada style, it's an Austrian take on a Canadian style, or you could almost say in an American uh, style, new world style, shall we say. So they're gonna put their flare on it. And so it's still gonna have, you know, maybe a little bit of that taper in there. These are forged in Austria, hand forged in Austria. So keep that in mind as we kind of move along. Um, this is, I'll just go ahead and touch, these come in a line. So basically this is a thousand gram uh, and it's like around, you know, two pounds, two to three pounds. It, it depends because it's very hard uh, being hand forged, sometimes they will vary just a little bit coming into us. But anyways, um, keep in mind that this is the thousand gram. It is in the smallest axe in this line. This goes up to a 14, 16, and 2000 gram. So this is the baby in the line. This right here is the mid in the Canada line. Uh, there's an 800, which is a sweet little axe. I hope to do a video on that here in the future. It's what I count as a nice little bushcrafting um, uh, you know, limbing axe and uh, very nimble and, and nice. I especially like it in the classic. So maybe we'll get to a video doing that. Now, let me go ahead and get some measurements here. So I've got on the handle, got about uh, 27 and a half inches on the Canada. I've got, excuse me on that one, got about a four and seven eighth inch bit. All right, on the broad bit, we've got a 25 and a half inch handle and you can see that we're bringing it down. It's got a bit wider on the bit, five and a half. So um, if I hold these up on a profile, it will give you an idea. They're both fairly thin blades, but you can see the length of the blade in this direction is also longer. You can see that the Canada style, I like the oval eye here better than a lot of the European, especially a lot of the Germans, will have the flat back to the eye. That's my personal preference, mostly because I count this as being, you know, a little bit more, uh, shall we say, normal or standard. Um, both of them have a fairly thin blade when you get down near the bit. The um, Canada is a little bit wider. So once again, you're getting a little bit of the German or Austrian styling in there. So that's some of the differences kind of between these two lines, even though they are both uh, Austrian. And like I said, these are both hand forged. These are just ground and finished. The classic lines they offer in the non. This is our uh, renewable willow tree. We use it, uh, we just kind of take branches off of it and willow is a great renewable resource because it just kind of uh, sprouts back no matter what you do to it. This is in an old uh, abandoned pond. But anyhow, we use uh, the, the willow tree for making charcoal if we want a light charcoal. So if you're like cooking, you would want say a heavier type wood to get more energy out of it. But if, if your projects are requiring like a light type of charcoal, uh, the willow is just about the, our favorite. So anyhow, I'm just going to go ahead and take one of these sprouts off and let you see what the Canada style uh, Mueller axe will do.
So, first off, I apologize. My angle there was partially for the camera and partially how this was angling down. But anyways, this uh, axe has got a very good feel to it. You can see it bites very well. Of course, this is willow. My miss swings before. like to give you a little bit more of a feel for how it will cut. So you can see, even with the bounce, like I said, the willow is fairly light, but um, bites pretty good. Also, I did not sharpen this. Their um, blue lines do not come quite as sharp as some. you can see even with all that bounce that's a pretty good bite right there so let me go ahead and limb this guy out just real quick and then you can see all of this I'm just shooting this just down and dirty so you can see what So the handle is fairly large. Let's say if you like an ax with a smaller handle, this one would not be for you. Um, if you like an ax with a larger handle, this is very good. It's got a good nub here on the end. I like the feel of that. For like the bushcrafting, you could see here I was choking up, not getting a real heavy swing. I won't say it's the most comfortable for that. Of course, it is a little bit larger. So that's not necessarily, if I grip it back here, I kind of like the way that feels and that still gives me kind of a good balance. So for a good limb, for a good limbing or even a small felling, I'd highly recommend this, I like it. I would put a little bit more of a blade, sharpened blade on this, but the Austrian steel is amazing. From my experience and their other styles, this will be the first time I've used one of these. Um, oh, I shouldn't say that. The 800 gram is my favorite in this side. I've, I've used that since the first time in the thousand. So, so <clears throat> my uh, closing out the review would be if you're looking for a thinner handle, not for you. <clears throat> if you're wanting a good quality steel at an affordable price, Austrian fine steel, hand forged, check out either the Canadian or the broad bit. My favorite is the Canadian styling just because I prefer, I'd like a little bit narrower bit. I like a little bit uh, shorter length and I like the oval eye. I do have, these are great and I like these, the blue line, but I do have uh, just a real love for the hand forged finish. So check out their classic lines as well. If you got any questions, feel free, give us a ring, check out our website. We're glad to talk about axes. Any questions that you've got, pick you out a nice one. Uh, website is wisemantrading.com. Check out our other videos. We like to do videos like this. We also uh, like to do uh, just few, throw in a few random homesteading or uh, woodworking videos. I think you'll find that real interesting. So like, subscribe, and ring the bell. God bless you, and we'll see you on the next video.